Well, welcome back. Brenna Webster is with the Blessing Diabetes Center, and it is hosting a lot of public events to mark National Diabetes Awareness Month next month. So mm -hmm. tell me about some of the events scheduled. One of our biggest events is a screening for neuropathy um, by Dr. Jason Kavitli, and that's in the Blessing Diabetes Center. And we're also doing um, foot screenings by Dr. Swanson, and that's on Friday the 13th. Ooh, there is a Friday the 13th in November. <laughs> um, what are some of the other, you're telling me about uh, some other events because you've got a whole mess of them. Yes, we have a lot going on in November. On Monday the 23rd, Charlie Kimball, who's an Indy race car driver, he's a type one diabetic and he is, doing a speaking event um, at the Diabetes Center about how you can effectively manage your diabetes and not let it prevent you from reaching your goals, whatever they may be. What are some tips that you'd like to get out to the public about um, the importance of diet when it comes to diabetes, managing it or preventing it, either one? Yeah, with diabetes, there are a few things that are really important. Um, a healthy, balanced diet, as well as staying active and managing your weight and staying at a healthy weight. So when it comes to eating healthy, trying to get a variety of food groups, really focusing on getting those fruits and vegetables in, because that seems to be the hardest part mm -hmm. for most people. And at Blessing, do you work with mainly the patients or do you also work with diabetics who are coming into the Diabetes Center or a little bit of both? In the Diabetes Center, we're an outpatient service of the hospital, so we work with patients that come in and they may have various needs with medications, nutrition, foot care, all sorts of things. So we really work with them on a variety of things they might be dealing with. What are some other events scheduled uh, during the month of November since it is uh, National Diabetes Awareness Month? Yes, yeah, so the first Tuesday of the month at noon, we have our diabetes support group, and there's also one the first Thursday, so that's next week, and it's at 6.30 on Thursday, and it's called Fall into Healthy Eating. So I'll be presenting on some different ways that you can make recipe substitutions or make healthier choices through the holidays. What are the biggest challenges for people who have diabetes in terms of diet? I think one of the biggest things is that they think they can't eat any of their favorite foods anymore. I have patients come in that have had diabetes for 20 years and they say, I haven't had a potato in 10 years. And so teaching them how to incorporate their favorite foods into their diet while still being able to manage their diabetes and have good blood sugars. That would be very difficult. I have some favorites as well. It'd be difficult to part <laughs> with them. <laughs> All right. Any last tips you'd like to get out there about um, for diabetics or for people <laughs> you want to prevent from becoming diabetic? Yeah, a couple things to look out for as far as signs and symptoms of diabetes because one in four people that have diabetes don't know it and they haven't been diagnosed. So things to look out for is blurred vision, fatigue, increased thirst, hunger, and urination. So if you have any signs or symptoms, you should talk with your doctor. All right, Brenna Webster, a dietitian with Blessing Diabetes Center. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.